Good morning, everyone. I'm Mei Zhang from China. Today, I will introduce a novel optical design for light field acquisition using camera array. There are five parts in my talk. Um, with the development of 3D image, light field capture techniques has received considerable attention in recent years. More light field information of 3D object can be helped to finish 3D reconstruction and display with good performance. Early in last century, Liz and Lipman discovered the approaches to obtain light field information, and subsequently, Edison described the light field with seven-dimensional parameterization that they will simplify the expression as full functions. Here are list some examples of light field, uh, light field camera design. Some researchers placed the special optical elements in different positions of typical optical system and uh, use single sensor. But this kind of system has some disadvantage, such as low resolution and small disparity. And some other researchers um, propose light field capture with single with sensor sensor array, and uh, it, this system can overcome overcome the overcome constraints of uh, size and uh, resolution of sensor. But its advantage is complexity in de in design. And uh, for the camera for sensor camera, there is another problem come out. For example, if we put the object not far away from the sensor array, and the disparity of each two cameras is not too small, then the distance from the image center to every camera will be different. It is to say the value of d1 is not equal to d2. Therefore, the image performance of the two cameras will be different between each other. We can find the reason from basic principle of optics. For example, if we move the object from position two to position one, then the image size will be larger. Um, from, this, um, from this mathematics calculation, we can know the ratio of the two image size is approximately equal to the ratio of the two objective distance. Here we can set a model for a camera array with nine cameras. The distance from sensor camera to image center can be set in as 80 millimeters, and the space distance can be set in as 11 millimeters. Therefore, the, dis the distance from side camera to image center would be um, 91.3 millimeters. From the calculation, we can know the ratio of the side of the side image for sensor for center camera and the side camera would be 1.15. Only 80 overlap, 80 percent overlap area for the two cameras exist. Therefore, our goal is to make an integrated optical design for all cameras to maximize image quality, coverage area, among other design targets. Here list some design requirements, including the number of cameras, objective center distance, interval distance, size of objective surface, size of sensor, and size of a pixel. First, we can design an optical system so suitable for marginal sensor lens 5. From the requirements, we can calculate the field of view with 82 degree. And from the formula, we can calculate the fo focal length would be 1 millimeter. An inverse telephoto optical system is always used to ensure the image quality for such a large field of view. And there are about four elements involved in our system. We make the op optimization by use of ZMAX software. And then here gives the design results. Here you can see the objective distance is setting as 91.3 to match the requirements of side camera. Generally, we use MTF curves to evaluate image performance. And uh, and the cutoff frequency is dependent on the pixel of size. From the calculation, we can know the cutoff frequency is 
about 250 circles per millimeter. Um, from the finger, the value of the curves are all about one, um, 0 0.15. So we can see the optical system can match the design requirements well enough. And then we applied the optical system for, uh, for, the, uh, for the nine cameras. Um, um, but there is a problem comes out. For example, if we use it for the center camera, the ob objective um, distance would be setting at 80 millimeters. As a result, the, um, the, size of the size of the image becomes larger and uh, overflows from the range of the sensor. Here gives the, the detailed value of the, the image size we can see about 20% information of the same object cannot be imaged on sensor for center camera. Therefore, we proposed an integrated camera array to, to make the same magnification. Here list the detailed design method. First, we set in the objective an optical system we just designed as initial system in ZMAX software. And the second, we set five configurations for different objective distance to match the requirements. Third, we set both surface of the first lens different for every configuration, but maintain other structure become used. Then we set the second surface of the first lens as a spherical surface and change the material as plastic. And finally, we make optimization with unified image size for the whole system. Here is the design results. And the first one is used for camera lens one and lens two. That's because objective distance for these two cameras are very close. Um, we can see only the first lens has different um, parameters and others seem, seem the same. Here is a numeric value date. OB present, represent objective distance. R1 and R2 represent the uh, cur curvature of the first lens. Here list the different value for the four configurations. Um, the, the fourth, eighth, sixth, and eighth high order coefficients of the aspherical surface are used here. Um, it is not hard to fabrication for plastic glass. And from the last row, give the size of the image. We can see the values are very close between each other. Here is the MTF to evaluate the image performance. And the cutoff frequency, the value of the curves are all about 0 0.25. So all aberrations are well corrected here. This is a spot diagram. Uh, we can see for the center field of view, the RMS radius is all around one micrometer. And for the marginal field, it is not more than 2.72 micrometer. All nine cameras can be fixed into a tube with a compact structure. This will enhance the reliability and assembly precision. Then we built up two image capture systems by use of initial camera array and the integrated designed camera array respectively. And we process the two sets of image to finish 3D surface reconstruction by use of a D-time algorithm. These images are captured by initial camera array. The left one is captured by center camera and the right one is is captured by set camera. Obviously, the face of the dots cannot show in the left image. So we pick up common area of the nine images to, to make next process. Here is the 3D reconstruction results. And the face of the dots cannot show here. There is a video, so we can see it clearly. And finally, we make compression 
of the effective area of 3D reconstruction for common well, for common camera array and integrated camera array. Here is the detailed value. For common, er, common camera array from length one to length five, the effective area becomes smaller and smaller. But for integrated camera array, the effective area are all the same by 100%. And there, this is the conclusion. First, we successfully designed an integrated camera array of nine cameras with uniform high performance. Second, the excellent performance of designed camera array can be seen from MTF and the spot diagram. Third, after comparison, the 3D reconstruction results for the two kinds of camera arrays, we can see that the FOV for the integrated camera array is larger than that for common camera array. Here is the reference. And uh, thanks for your attention.